So Tyler, um, yesterday we talked to Rhett Lashley and he mentioned that after the North Carolina game, he did something he never did before, which was have a one-on-one -on -one film review with you. I was curious your reaction to that, if you knew that was the first time, you, first time you ever did that and how that review went and how maybe that helped your game. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I sit in the quarterback room, you don't always want to like say what you always, like what you saw or whatever, but yeah, same with him, you could be honest with him and uh, just tell him like really what you saw or how you're feeling in the play, stuff like that. So, I mean, I didn't know that was the first time I ever did that, but yeah, it definitely helped me out a lot. So. How is that different being alone with him than being with all the other guys together? Um, I mean, I feel like you can just be more honest, you know. Um, I mean, you trust all the guys. I trust all the guys in the room and stuff, but you always don't want to say what you were seeing or if you messed up, you always don't want to like, admit that you were wrong in front of everyone. So, I mean, yeah, this is a good thing. Just that one-on-one, -on -one, uh, watch a film with him. So, is there kind of like a specific example of like I don't know, play in that game that you could talk about more openly with him than maybe when everyone else is in that room? I mean. Just maybe some of the throws I missed and saying I aimed it instead of just threw it, you know, stuff like that. Nothing, nothing serious, I mean, yeah, yeah. just <laughs> stuff like that. Well, well, you're getting a lot of national attention now. Um, how, are you, how are you handling that yourself and what have you told yourself about that? Uh, just not pay attention to it. Um, just go like I did about my day um, throughout these last two years, you know. Um, I mean, I still have to work hard. and. Um, I mean, I haven't really done anything yet. Yeah, we won two games, played well. Um, but we still got four games left and possibly some more. So um, still got to keep working, uh, keep going throughout my day. So. Oh, are kids noticing you on campus? What are people saying to you? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I mean, I try to not to like promote it, I guess. Just try to go on about my day. Um, but yeah, I'll get some, some stuff from some kids. And, but I mean, I guess that's normal, right? So when you, when you play at a D1 school, so. Yeah. Also, players have said that you, have, you know, actually have to step up as a leader. I guess how, as a leader, have you made sure nobody else gets too high off of the students? Yeah, um, I mean, as you guys know, we started two and four, um, and yeah, it was some tough times, but we knew we had a, a tough team that didn't give up. Um, in those those second halves, and we knew we had this team had lots of potential, and we showed that the last three games, and um, we still have four more to play. And um, yeah, um, as a leadership role, you know, uh, throughout the past month or so, I've definitely taken that that next step, um, talking to the whole team, and not just the offense, and just getting getting everyone rallied up. So. Has anybody, any of the former quarterbacks really reached out to you, you know, maybe over these last few games? Um, I mean, I've talked to Malik Rozier a lot. Um, I actually uh, watch film with him every Wednesdays, uh, Wednesday nights. We either go through practice um, regarding, like, my footwork and yeah, uh, stuff like that, or watch some film on um, the team we're going to play on Saturday. So. It's interesting. Yeah. Any, any phone calls from guys like Gino? I know Gino off the uh, no, I haven't gotten anything from any of them. When you go back and watch the pit game, what were you most pleased with that you feel like you took the next step in, in that game? Um, I mean, being smart with the football besides one play, you know, um, and just letting the ball rip. Um, and I felt like North Carolina game was, was my first away game, you know, the atmosphere and stuff. And I felt like I really handled the pit atmosphere uh, well. I mean, it was loud at the end of the game. and. Uh, that back shoulder ran, but we just quiet them right there. So I mean, um, I think yeah, the, the, that way game atmosphere, um, just playing in that, I, I think it really stepped up. Let's do a couple more for Tyler. Have you talked to Jay Garcia lately? How, you know, how is he doing? How's he feeling? And how, where's his head at? Yeah, yeah. Jake has been really supportive. Um, we all love Jake, and um, yeah, he's been good. Uh, he's still in the room. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, getting better, running down notes, watching film, and um, yeah, he's, he's even though he's hurt, he's still uh, learning to get better. So he's watched. He's so he's in there watching film with you every day. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah. Awesome. Thank you.